Yo, what is good, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hopefully, you guys are having an awesome day full of only positive vibes. Guys, let's be real. The test server has been out, and a lot of people have been complaining about the movement. So today, we're actually going to give you guys a few things that I don't like about the test server, so that, that way, Activision knows about it, and hopefully, they can fix it. But keep that in mind. It is a test server. If you have access to a test server, please put in the feedback so that you guys know that you guys don't like it, so that they don't change it. Honestly, who knows? I think it's a glitch. We'll see. But anyway, let's hop into the game. All right, first thing I want to bring up is something they changed in the camo. Matter of fact, it's two things that they changed, one of which, which I'm not too sure if I like, and the other one I really don't like at all, and it's going to be the Damascus skin. First of all, the Damascus skin, as you guys can see, did get a little change. Um, it has a nice pattern, you know? I don't know how to feel about it, but we can compare it to the last or the one we have currently in this season, but this is the test server. So this one has like more swirls. Uh, it looks really good here. In game, not so great. But the other one, you can see, I feel like this one does look a little bit better, but we'll see how it looks in game. If it has that shine, like the first version of it, then I'm perfectly perfectly okay with it. The only thing, someone brought this up, it does look very similar to the dragon camo. However, dragon camo, but like with more glow. But personally speaking, I don't know how to feel about that. But let me know what you guys think. We'll see how it looks in game. Now, this second part, I absolutely don't like at all. The diamond camo, this new version of it, really doesn't look that great the gold is great but the diamond itself does not i'm hoping this is a glitch it looks more like i want i call it chicken pox on stream it, it looks like it's chicken pox it's it's pink ish like purple pink i don't know how to feel about it if we compare it to the one we have now let's go ahead and take a look at that real quick bang this one is just way cleaner like the, the actual diamonds look like diamonds it's not like some stupid pink whatever color no offense people like the color pink but it just doesn't look as great not a huge fan but again you guys will let me know what you guys think about it hopefully this doesn't change now this is the main issue that a lot of people have been talking about it is going to be the movement and the drop shot there is a new perk that allows people to drop shot which is called uh let me see where it's, i have it equipped here somewhere skillful drop shot that means when you drop shot it doesn't drop shot anymore and also the sliding as well as the slide jumping got hugely nerfed. However, I believe the sliding might be a, I guess, more or less a nerf, not nerf, but like a glitch because I'll explain to you guys. You'll see when we hop into a game real quick. All right. So we are on the regular server. As you will see, when you drop shot, this is what happens. Okay. So ADS, shoot, drop shot. This is how it looks in the regular server. However, if we go on a test server real quick, you will see if you ADS, shoot and drop shot it un ADSs, which makes it a pretty big nerf uh we take a look again but there's one thing you can do if you want you can ads and then ads again but the time it takes for you to you know finish the kill the guy probably will have killed you so it really doesn't work really really well however there's the blue perk that allows you to drop shot which i'll show you guys in a second but let's go ahead and show you guys the slide cancel and how it looks before and how it looks now slide cancel bang basically the same as your ads if not a little bit slower Right, you can see you slide cancel, which is basically sliding and then flicking to the right and instantly shoot someone, right? There's also the jump slide cancel or slide jump cancel, which is a lot of people doing. You can see this is how it looks. Pretty instant, if not just a little bit slower, just like that, bang. Pretty instant, okay? But now, if we hop into test server, look what happens when you're on a test server, okay? Ready? It takes a lot longer. And you can see the ADS on my gun is average, right? It's not super slow. It's not super fast, but you guys can see it is substantially slower. It looks very much like a visual glitch in my opinion, and I'll show it to you guys afterwards. But let's go ahead and do the jump slide. You can see it's a little bit faster, but still pretty slow. So it's really, really, really annoying to the, you know, to the mobility. People who love to slide cancel and stuff like that. So it's a really awkward. Now you're probably saying, what if I increase the ADS speed? What if I have like super fast ADS speed? Will it make it better? Unfortunately, it doesn't, and I'm gonna prove it to you guys. I have right here an MSMC, uh, wait, right here, an MSMC with pretty much instant ADS speed. Like, it is fast, watch, right? You ready? Bang, instant ADS speed, instant ADS speed. So, bang, you can still see it takes me a long time. Jump in is, as well, takes me a long time, which very much awkward. However, it, since it's doing this, there is, a method that's not affected to it which is just jump peeking so if you just jump an instant ads so it's really nice you can see you can jump ads right so let's say you're here jump ads 
Now, how you can use this, there's two ways. Technically, three ways. You just jump in and then shoot them, all right? You can also jump in and then bunny hop and shoot. That way, instance. You can also, if you slide, bunny hop, it instantly does it. So we'll see how this goes next season, but we'll see if it affects it. However, if it does affect, prepare to start using these type of movements because these type of movement is going to be the main one, the jump peeking, but also a jump peeking into a, a drop shot. So you can still equip the drop shot because it's a blue perk. Honestly, blue perks, nothing really crazy, but you can see you can jump and then jump into a drop shot. It's going to take a little, a little work to do, but you can jump into a drop shot and kill the guy, right? That's something you're going to practice or you can do the slide and then bunny hop and then shoot. Because once you slide bunny hop, it instantly cancels it out, right? So those are the type of movements you can do if you would like to take advantage of it. If they do nerf this, that's the type of movement you're going to have to work on. A bunny hop because let's say you slide cancel it does nothing but if you slide bunny hop it does ads right you slide bunny hop bang slide bunny hop bang slide instantly drop shot you can start doing that as well or the newest one that i like is just jump cancel jump and then just instant drop shot didn't do it there but if you can do the jump drop shot that would be the best one watch so someone's like hiding there you just jump and then bah instant drop shot However, the drop shot is actually significantly worse as well because it does make the uh, recoil a lot harder. So let's say there's a guy around this corner. Jump, drop shot, bang. That's that's going to be the new meta. You just jump, drop shot, right, and then run away. It's going to be hard to master, right? It, is, it isn't easy. It, it, it definitely isn't easy. But that's one of the movement or the bunny hop like I talk about, the slide, bunny hop. Because once you bunny hop, it can actually ADS back in. Uh, there's one more thing I do want to talk about when it comes to regard to movement. Uh, these low mobility build actually might benefit from this new slide cancel. And let me show you guys this low mobility build. I have a practical joker. Uh, I believe it's an RPD build. You will see the mobility is horrendous. ADS speed is bad. It is terrible. But, however, if you slide cancel, it's, it's slower. It's definitely slower, but it's already slow. However... If you do the slide jump cancel, it's not that much slower than your regular ADS. Look, watch. ADS, it's about a second. If you slide jump cancel, not that bad. Right? Slide jump cancel, still not that bad because it's already a very slow ADS speed. You can still do the bunny hop if you want, but it is a very slow gun to begin with. So you really don't need to do it. You can still do the slide jump cancel because it's still... Hold on, let me show you. Let me show you guys. You can still shoot, which makes it really good. Now, let me explain the reason why I think this is a glitch. The reason I think it's a glitch is because it does like a weird animation. And the best way to show it to you guys, it's a shotgun. I know the sniper is also a good way to show it, but for me, the shotgun is the best way to show it. You guys will understand the reason why I think it's a glitch. So when I ADS with the shotgun, slide ADS, it takes forever, right? Slide ADS, it takes forever. However, you can see, I put a little like, uh, 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 my, my setting button, I put it in the middle. All right, so watch this, okay? So if I slide jump, you'll see. Slide jump, slide jump, slide jump, slide jump, right? I can still hit them. I can still hit them, despite not being in full animation, right? Right? See? Slide jump, still slide jumping, right? So it does seem more like a visual glitch Right? If you can aim it, you can see, right? It really much looks like a visual glitch to me. It really does. So I don't know if this is the movement we're gonna get. You can still hit people accurately. You see? I really think it's just more of a visual glitch. I'm hoping it's a visual glitch. I don't mind them slowing down the ADS speed, but I wish it would slow down based on your regular ADS speed. So if you already have a super slow ADS, it does a super slow ADS. But again, I don't know how to feel about it. But those are kind of the things that I'm not a huge fan of when it comes to testing wise. All right, that's it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about this nerf. And if you don't like it, like let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you're in a test server, put the feedback. Say you don't like the movement or you just report it as a glitch. Hopefully they'll see it and they'll probably say, okay, maybe it is a glitch. Maybe we should take it out. As well as the Damascus, as well as the Diamond. I, I'll give it a chance. If it looks really good in game, 
I don't mind. It's mostly aesthetic, so it's not really something that I really want to full on complain, despite the fact that I grind diamonds like, like crazy. And it's one of my favorite things to do. If the skin looks really bad, it's kind of unlucky. But again, it's really more the movement in game that I really don't like as much. I'm hoping it's a glitch. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. All right, I'm out. See you guys next time. Kill it. <laughs>